Hello out there, it's me. Today is January 27, 2016, and this is my first video log of the year. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I felt kind of compelled to do so based on what's going on lately. Now, everyone knows that I'm a big, big, big tennis fan. I love tennis. Right now, we're in the midst of the Australian Open, and that's one of the four Grand Slams of the year. Prior to the Grand Slam starting, um, we had some allegations going on about max match fixing. Um, a lot of people's names were thrown out, like Leighton Hewitt, even Novak Djokovic, the top-ranked tennis player of the ATP, the Association for Tennis Professionals, has said that he was approached at a match in 2007 and was asked to lose the match, um, I guess for monetary gain. Here, I'll give you this amount of money. Um, gambling and betting on tennis matches is huge. It's a huge sport, particularly in Europe and um, Asia. It's huge over there. Um, so much that it's actually allowed at some of these tournaments. Now, that said, um, the Tennis Integrity Unit has decided that they need to do an inquiry in what's going on with these allegations. Now, these allegations stem from the past 10 years, um, include at least about 16 top-ranked or formerly top-ranked players, even someone that has won the U.S. Open. I think that's why Leighton Hewitt's name has been thrown out. Now, mind you, I do want to stress that all of these are allegations thus far. No one has been found guilty of any type of match-fixing. Um, now, that said, match-fixing basically is losing a match um, for monetary gain or whatever. And I feel like, personally, I don't understand the problem with that. Um... I feel like if you're wanting to lose a match for monetary gain, it's not really affecting the other player, however you decide to lose it. Now, seemingly in tennis, it's very easy to lose a match. I mean, you can hit a ball out of, I mean, out in the doubles alley. Uh, you can miss a serve intentionally. And it, I guess that's why it's so intriguing for people to want to do it, simply because it's really, really hard to prove that someone actually tanked a match, unless it just looks very, very obvious, like some people at Wimbledon last year who shall remain nameless. Um, that said, it's really, 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 really easy to hit, um, to get a fault on a serve, hit a ball out of bounds, you know, things like that. It's really, really easy. Now, that said, if somebody wants to do that, I say let them. If you want to take an L in your win-loss career record just for monetary gain, I don't really think that that's affecting someone else, the opposite player. If the opposite player is giving their all and really, 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 really trying to win, and you're just deciding, hey, I'm going to lose this match, let's spray a ball out wide or, you know, miss the baseline by about five feet, you know, that's your that's your bad. You can do that. I, I feel like we're worried about the wrong thing in the ITF, the ATP, and the WTA. We're really, really worried about the wrong thing. Um, all this worry about match-fixing allegations at this point, they're all allegations, um, is putting focus on the wrong thing. I think although match-fixing does hurt the integrity of the sport, it actually hurts the integrity more of the player that actually does it. Um, I feel like it's really not so much hurting the opposite person or the viewers of the game. Um, I think what's really hurting the sport a lot more, and what I think people need to focus on a little bit more than match fixing, is these allegations of doping and substance abuse and um, performance enhancing drugs. I think more money should be spent in that arena to make sure that these top players that we love and adore um, are actually following the rules as they should be. Um, I, I don't need to really name any specific players because there's so many players that have been accused of doping and accused of, you know, these uh, biological passport uh, fixing up or whatever. You know, I think more money should be spent in that arena to make sure that these cheaters are being caught. Um, we can all think of Lance Armstrong, who pretty much passed every test known to man, then, you know, um, had this cover up because, you know, one of his blood samples tested positive for something. Can't remember specifically what, but we already all know. Um, so that said, I feel like we should be focusing a little bit more on that. We should really, really, really be taking into co to consideration that there are some people that are willing to do whatever it takes to win. So that said, why are we bother with somebody who's doing whatever it takes to lose if they're going to get a little, little more money. If they want to lose their ranking points, potential ranking points for winning, and um, potentially um, the money that they win from these Grand Slam victories, if someone's offering them more to lose, I don't see why that's a problem for anyone else but them. Let them do it. That's how I feel. I might be wrong. I know my opinion might not be in the majority. I know people are going to land based on my opinion, but it's just that. It's my opinion. So that's how I feel. Um,
it is what it is. I really don't know what else to say about the matter. So that said, let's focus more about drugs in sport and performance enhancing drugs and um, things like that instead of match fixing. I mean, 